is going to be the first of a couple of uh, calculator tutorials that I will post. Uh, directions are given throughout the book on different things to do with your calculator, uh, but this might be just a helpful way for you to um, look at the directions and kind of step through as you see me do it. Uh, in your text, you'll find a section on entering data into the TI-83 and TI-84 on page 122. And there is another section uh, which is helpful on descriptive statistics, and that's on page uh, 356. And so what I was going to do is take one of our examples from our notes, and this was actually your uh, tornado um, data coming out of page 8 in your chapter 3 notes. And so what I want to do is enter it into our calculator. And so I'll show you how to do that. And then I'll step through how to get your descriptive statistics. Um, again, you're going to have to show how to do the descriptive statistics, but this is going to be a nice way uh, for you to test to actually check your work. So to get started, uh, turn your calculator on, obviously. So I've got my on. And to get your data in, you need to hit stat, right? So there's the stat button there. Uh, the edit command is what you need to enter. And so when you hit stat, actually edit is already highlighted. And then if you hit at the bottom, hit enter. It takes you to a menu. Um, if you've messed with this before, you might already have data in there that you can clean out. Um, if not, it'll just all be uh, empty. And so each of these columns represents a different variable. And so what I'm going to do is take L1. I'm going to put uh, the variable um, for our tornado data. And so I'm going to enter all of these values into that column. Right. So I'm going to start with, uh, let's see, I've got 656. So I type 656, um, enter. And then I've got 684, enter, 702, 764, 856, 1132, enter, 1133, enter, and 1303, enter. And then it's always a good idea to check yourself so you can use these little arrow keys to page back up. So I have 1303, 1133, 1132, 856, 764, 702, 684, and 656. And so that matches with the data that we had um, in our handout on page 8. All right. So as soon as you have your data in there, you want to get out. And to do that, you're going to need to quit. You'll notice quit is in blue. So I'm going to hit second in that button, and that will get me back to um, just the main menu. Right. So the data is in there. Uh, if I want to then go through and calculate things like my mean, um, actually my quartiles, which is something we're going to learn about um, on Wednesday, and um, our variance, our standard deviation, so all sorts of other statistics we're going to be learning about. Um, but so far we've got our mean. And the way that I'm going to do that is, again, I'm going to go through my stat command. So I'm going to hit stat. And this time I want to calculate something. So instead of editing data, I'm going to use this button to go over to calculate. And the one that I want is already highlighted, so that's one variable statistics. And so I'm just going to hit enter. Right, so it's then it takes me back to the one, um, the, the original menu. And it's waiting on me uh, to say, what do I want to calculate the one variable stats for? So you have to remember what variable you put your data in. And I had put it in the column that was called L1. Right. So if you look on your calculator in blue, you'll actually see you've got these L things labeled underneath. Right. So I want L1. Okay. So to get to the blue, I have to hit second. So I hit second at the top. And then that right there will give me L1. Right. So that's saying, give me the one variable statistics for the data that I stored in L1. And then I'm going to enter. And then it gives me all sorts of good stuff. So there's my mean. So my mean is 903.75. 
Um, it gives me, so these are other things that we'll be talking about, but it gives me my variant, my standard deviation, my min, we're going we're gonna to learn about quartiles. It also gives me my median, so we can check ourselves there, um, and our max. And actually, this what's displayed right here, the min, the Q1, the median, the Q3, and the max is going to be called our five-number summary. And that's going to be something that we use for um, doing a box plot, which is another thing we're going to be learning soon. Um, so that's a good tool for you to get used to. And again, um, just being able to put your data into your calculator uh, down the road is also going to be helpful. We'll, we're going to be able to use our calculators to do more sophisticated things. So that'll get you started.